Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Danae. I'm also the creation of Enlightened Inspirations and this video is going to be a little bit like a candle vlog, a behind the scenes of me trying to get ready for the rest of the Mother's Day collection that I'm getting ready to put out. So basically what I'm going to show you is me cleaning up my center, getting reorganized, and then also finishing a little sneak peek of some candles that I have set right here in front of me. So, let's go. So uh, today, as you can see, I need to clean this up because I'm trying to make it a little bit of everything in my inventory besides just having these 10 ounce candles. I want to make room for two ounce candles and four ounce candles at the same time. So, And I also, thanks to my future mother-in-law, gifting me this whole box where is it at do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. right here all those right here are candles tins that i am going to be using i have eight ounce candles i have two ounce candle tins and four ounce candle tins and i and i, and I appreciate it so thank you mama hardy appreciate it so because of her i'm able to finish my Mother's Day collection, which involves these eight ounce tins right here that I have. We're going to finish that, but first I want to clean up the area because I, I have things everywhere, as you can see behind me. So we're gonna get into that. Oh, and also I found a backup phone, so we're gonna see how the camera quality is with that too as well. So if the camera quality seems a little bit iffy, just bear with me. I gotta play around with the camera stuff again. So hopefully by the next video, it'll look better. table cleared and just have my work up here um, I want to redo all this because in the midst of me crafting and stuff I have like I will probably always say this in every video I have ADD so my mind moves fast with thoughts and ideas and things like that so sometimes I have to make time to reorganize everything and then re I'm able to like refocus. I don't know, it just works for me. Cleaning up the mess. I think about ways to refocus again and calm myself down. Cleaning calms me down, it does. So I need to, I already thought of an idea of reorganizing this and trying to keep this table clear. So that's what we're gonna try to do. We're gonna try to transfer things over to this over. We're gonna, what I had on here, I gotta transfer over to here. <clears throat> and spruce it up a little bit. I don't know. 
just trust the process. I, I have it in here, but sometimes it's hard for me to communicate it outwards too as well. So you'll see. save um, my thank you card semi packaging decorating I like to spray my what is it called alcohol alcohol stuff in there then I have things that I need right hand where I could just wheel it up to me when I need it then I have my candle wicks down here and then leftovers that I save for like little tea lights and stuff and then I have all my which whenever I need a wick, these are the things that I'll hand make it, hand wick it through. I need to get, I think I need to look for different sizes though, because these are all small. Um, and then I have my candle stickers and little baggies for like soaps and samples. I'm going to start using those from now on. What is this? Oh, candle wick. I think I needed to reorder. Put that right there. And then down here, I just have like for my packaging, I have the packaging paper down here. I have little bits that didn't fit. I got candlestick glue, um, witch hazel for other things, and a bunch of other little jib bits. And then down here, I like to keep my candle dye, the powder, and then those are the wax. Shout out again to my uh, mother and future mother in law. So I have that, plus I have the soap powder stuff right here from when I make little melt and pour soaps. I only bought a little bit because I don't make it too much, but yeah. <clears throat> and now I have room for these candles that are done. Some of them are going to be like tester ones. Um, which one? Like ones that aren't filled all the way. I have, I usually make those like my tester candles. And then I have these embeds that I need to fix up and make them look pretty pretty. And then I have these I gotta take out. And this is just sitting here. I'm still deciding whether I want this to be a wax melt or do a candle. So we'll see. Again, I'm playing around with lighting. I think this lighting was throwing off the, the ring light for the camera. So <laughs> I'm hoping it's not too bad. We'll see whenever I edit. <laughs> <clears throat> so I did all that the next step is to clean up around the rest of the other place around the, uh, the other place clean up around the rest of the room is what I'm going to be doing next um, I also want to try to transfer the laptop over to a designated area um, whether that be me taking this heater thing that's holding it as like a little mini desk for me right now because I keep moving it around the room and it's becoming a burden and a, and a nuisance to me. I need to figure something out. So I might have to re-angle the little mini desk I have over there that's for the crit cut and try to fit in my laptop over there somehow. So let's rearrange to a different look. As soon as I go to look at this sheen box that I never took out of my room, I found more transfer tape. More transfer tape. If only I could find more Crit Cut stuff. Just magically popping up in my room. That'd be nice, right? It would. Pro 
progress now. Now this is my little workstation. I have my packaging stuff over here. I do plan on getting like a workbench sometime in the future, but for right now, I gotta make it work with what I got. And I'm excited, we're getting somewhere. Now the next thing is, <clears throat> I really don't have nowhere to move like my packing peanuts and stuff like that. I am looking into getting like two big like laundry basket with wheels and that way I can put my packing peanuts in one side like those three divider things. I can put my packaging peanuts in one side um, and then my crinkle paper in another and then um, like how you see this big old blue thing right here. I want to um, put, put that in a way but I want to put like little dividers in it so that way the paper doesn't get messed up and it stays nice. So that'll free up some space and then when I get like a packaging workbench this is what I want right here um, I can find hooks and gadgets and stuff and dividers for like the box sizes and things like that so um, that is definitely on my my to-do list for next and then I do want to get another one of these bad boys right here to put along I want it longer I want a longer one over here so the workstation over there all connects together where I can also like put um, instance in this box candles I can set up candles um, whipped and ready to go things like that so yeah just telling you the motivation here <laughs> store those two ounce four ounce and eight ounce candles I did I do have four ounce candles over there but I don't want to put those on the shelf over that's like behind y'all behind the camera right now um, I want to store them somewhere else so that way I know to use up the rest of the four ounces that I've had for a while and then I can work on the other ones but I am using the eight ounces right now so anything emergent that I need is gonna go over there and whatever is in storage is gonna go underneath underneath that thing right there because there's there you go underneath there because there's space for it so <laughs> these candles wifey brought me fish and rice so I'm gonna pause and take a quick little lunch break <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
so basically one embed I have to say one embed was done with the wax chips and the other one was done with candle science um, liquid dye and can you tell which one this was the candle chip and this was the dye the liquid dye um, I wanted these roses to come out a little bit darker and I have issues with the wax chips not fully melting or not giving off what I actually want when all I had to do was give a couple drops and mix it in real quick and got the vibrant color I wanted it has more pigment to me too as well if you ask me than the chip candle wax so unless I haven't figured it out yet who knows but I like the liquid dye better because it's fast it's quick it's easy and you get the color that you want <clears throat> and you get to an experiment with like how many drops the more drops the darker and I wanted this one to be darker so I'm just trying to clean up chips and I'm saving these for a experimental candle I did this in the past with um chips because of my embeds they leave a lot of good different color chips and I want to decorate a candle with them and when it melts it pours in all these colors too as well which is pretty cool whenever it's burning um, so I think I might try and recreate that candle again but I need more chips in order to do that so that's a future project of mine now we are going to transfer over to the other side and get these candles melted and decorated and things <laughs> end of the video um it was very short at least I think it was <laughs> I also got to check some emails taking and waiting for phone calls on that but I am very happy with how these candles turned out and if I didn't say what these scents are it's for a reason just know they smell like you want a margarita on a beach baby that's how good they smell so thank you for watching Thank you for the comments, subscribers. I appreciate you all very much. And I also want to let you know that these silicone molds I will try and find a description. I know in my last video, some of you guys are asking me for um, description of um, my molds and where I get them from and everything like that. So I will put the link in the um, link to those 
try to figure it out at least because I'm new to it so please bear with me I will try to figure out how to get the links from them into the uh, description <laughs> so I will go work on that actually right now um, and if no one yet has told you today that they love you like always I hold space for saying I love you and I hope